All right, welcome back again to the tr Cowboy Tarantula Part 4. So basically what I had done was I drew a horizontal line in the background here. I'll make it more distinct for you to see it. There it is. And the one point perspective is basically right around here. And the lines are, the lines are coming out toward the viewer because this is basically a road or a dirt road out in the middle of nowhere that is um, reminiscent of the Old West, okay? And so, um, essentially, this is a one-point perspective drawing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the Leopard Gecko Cowboy, yes. And uh, we're gonna darken this guy up first, um, look, make him look more akin to the Arizona Blonde Tarantula, which of course is native to where I live. Dark him up a little bit. And what we're going to do with this, um, with this um, gecko, we're also going to draw him in Western attire. But we're going to draw him as a, um, like a, like a sidekick type of character, you know, like a secondary character. And he'll be on this, he'll be on the side here, posed in a three-fourth, three-fourths angle. So, um, let me go ahead and adjust this so you can see it better. There we go. I'm envisioning... I, I'm visualizing that he should be like right here. I think right here. Okay. We'll draw that line of action. Okay. He'll be right here. Okay. And we're also going to have his tail. He has a he has a like a giant round tail. Okay. And I want that tail to swirl swirl around here. You know, just to give him that reptilian look. You know. All right, so basically it is a lizard, it's a gecko, and naturally they're very slender. Another thing I want to point out is that they're not native to the American Southwest, but rather to the Middle Eastern deserts. So here we go, okay? And what pose I'm going to try to capture is um, him holding, the gu holding a pistol and he's blowing the barrel as, he, as if he just, sh just shot the gun. So I think that'd be kind of neat. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, draw him more like, not necessarily a three-fourths angle, but more like a um, on the side, or he's posed on the side. We'll just see the side. There we go. Go one, two, three. His waist will come like around here. Make his waist come around here. Give him that rib cage. I gotta be really careful because I'm so used to drawing these muscular characters like the Hulk, Hercules, and um, Conan the Barbarian, you know. And I gotta bear in mind that this character lacks muscles, so he's gonna be a very slender character. Draws um, pelvis. It's gonna try to be an excellent um, anthropomorphic sketch, that's for sure. A lot of animal lovers will like this, especially the ones where I live. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We've got that pose. His head is here, torso right there. I'm going to draw his legs. Coming down to here. All right. Okay, and... I don't know if we should, I should stick with the um, reptilian legs or should I go with human-like legs for this character? I guess I could go make him somewhat reptilian just to keep it consistent with how the, how the creature looks in reality. I think that'd be kind of cool. I'll have his legs just bit a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and draw in those um, arms. Okay. okay, knee joints go right here. We'll go erase this line of action. We don't need it anymore. So here it is. It's all good. I have his arm come in right here, down to where his waist is, or I could just have him have his. Um, his arm or his hand, his left hand, um, 
situated inside his pocket, which will be drawn in the future. I could go ahead and draw in his left arm, his right arm, okay, which will be holding the gun. He'll be holding the gun there. Okay, elbow joints. We'll go ahead and draw in his leg muscles. And the creature has, um, I don't know about, four digits on each foot and hand. But you know what? I'm not going to really worry about that. I'll, I'll sketch it in anyways. You know. But uh, it's not something to worry about right now because I'm with, I have a mind to draw them in boot, cowboy boots, you know. Okay, so if I the the feet I'm drawing in right now is just they'll just act as regular guidelines. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the arm muscles. Just gonna see this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Should put this back. There we go. Draw in this forearm. Feet, they'll be erased because they're going to be. They're in. He'll be wearing boots. All right. Uh, okay. So basically, the um, we got the tarantula. We got the um, leopard gecko started. Um, now I got to start etching in his head. And got to make sure that there, there's a, there's some kind of a snout going on here. I know that. And I got like curve his head. This ain't the gecko from the Geico commercials, you know. This one's straight from my mind. So, <laughs> um, let me think here. So the live action right here. It's gonna be where his eyes are. Okay. Um, his snout. I guess like that. <laughs> That's a little bit like the one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I never cared for that cartoon or those characters, by the way. I didn't think they were that great. So, I'm going to draw in his neck. Okay, we got some semblance of a, a snout. Now we got to draw in those eyes. Well, the shape of his head, really. I didn't want to go that low. We'll go a little higher, like right there. Who cares if it's not 1,000% consistent with how the creature looks? I just want the head to be visible. And now we're gonna go ahead and get in its eyes. It's got big eyes. Oh. I guess, kind of like that. Try to etch in his uh, right eye. Drawing it, drawing it at this angle is a little challenging. So we're going to have to draw his right eye. Like right here. Okay, perfect. All right, we got his, his head, torso, legs, hands and feet drawn out. Now we're going to go ahead and make these shoulders just a little bit more conspicuous all right now we're gonna go ahead and start drawing his attire we'll save the gun till last because I know that's going to be a pain in the rear end so we're gonna go ahead and go um, thinking here 
Maybe I should go with the other poncho. I guess the pon I guess the poncho would be appropriate, but I'll make it look dissimilar to the pon to the one that's worn by the tarantula. Let's go like here. Make it a little longer, coming down for about right there. Looks like his army going to be his right, his left arm. It won't be shown after all. I wanted to show it, um, with his with his hand in his pocket. Okay, let's go get rid of this, these lines right here. All right. Um, so logically. The poncho would be overlapping his his um, right arm. Okay, so kind of like that, and it's coming down like this. I'm drawing his pants. There we go. I'm going to erase all these guidelines. Still see that arm. You go erase this. There we go. And we're gonna draw these um, threads that are hanging out. You know, you could draw a lot of those. We could go ahead and draw some semblance of an arm, like that's shown behind the veil. You know, you could do that at least. There we go. Well, maybe not. Gonna make it a little straighter. <sighs> Let's start drawing in um, his boots. All right, now we gotta draw that that pistol. You know, I've been, I've been procrastinating there. You probably noticed, because I know it's gonna be a little challenge to um, draw. So um, I'll do the best I can. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. Okay, so um, let me think here. <laughs> uh, let's see here.
So we could go ahead and draw the gun like um, like right here. And this is the best. It's gonna be a little tough. I may have to draw his whole arm a little lower because the pistol will have to be even where his lips are because he's blowing them. So um, draw his arm like right here, this low. Okay. And we'll this one. We'll have to make it. We'll have to make an adjustment to the arms in a little bit. So we're not going to worry about that right now. As I said, in art, you just got to like make adjustments as you go along. Um, we want to draw the handle. And the hammer that you use to revolve the chamber around with. There you go. All right. Um, like I did with the atom bomb drawing in the very beginning of this uh, video series, I'll just go ahead and um, let the object determine the position of the hand. So we're going to have finger like right here. We'll draw his thumb like right here. Um, more fingers right here because he's holding the gun and his hand like right here. Just bear with me. It's not going to be easy. Huh. Okay, great. Okay, great. Um, looks like we're on the right track with this um, gun where he's blowing it, but not with the arm. Okay, I need that gun at least a little bit over here to the far left in order for this concept to work out. So, um, reluctantly, I'm going to have to draw the gun a little bit farther out. When you're drawing and your brain is telling you something is not quite right, you should go ahead and make that change immediately because it is something is not right. You'll come across that a myriad of times in your drawing career. All right, and now I gotta draw 